Hey there, today we're going to have a look at how we can build drop and drag style activities in OneNote. All right, so this one actually kind of came through as a request. Someone was asking, how do I make interactive OneNote pages? So if my students are kind of on a touch screen or maybe I want to use the interactive whiteboard, how might I do that? So we're gonna have a look at a, a nice kind of simple activity where maybe we're gonna like drop some money, like as if we were counting money and moving it from one point to another. And this could really be applied to lots of different contexts. You know, it's up to your imaginations. Um, these are definitely possible in being built, but they do kind of take that little bit of finessing around. And um, I know sometimes I can spend a little bit too long building out these type of activities, but you do get quicker at them as you go. So I want two things to this activity. I want, I'm going to need two images that I want to use. And so, for example, what I might say is I might put this money into this jar image that I have. And quite often, you know, I've just downloaded this from um, this website that I'm part of. And it's not, you know, it's not great. It's not, um, it doesn't really represent the way I want the jam jar to look. And so what we can do is there's two options here. And so I'm doing this on my Mac so I can show you how to do it both um, for Windows and for um, the Mac users. So first one, let's have a look at how we can do this using PowerPoint. We're gonna basically tidy this image up. So if I open up PowerPoint and a blank page, quite often it's not too bad of an idea with an image like this, just to drop a, like a color into the background. And then I'm going to grab that same photo and it's a JPEG. And I'm gonna pop it in here like this. Now you'll notice here that it says that we're in picture format. It's kind of the default when I drag the image in. But over here, it says remove background. So I'm gonna click that and then it'll come up like so. Now this image is kind of like a little tricky to kind of pick up on how it's happening. But you can see here how this this black here is darker than this black in the middle. What this means is that this hasn't been included as part of the image and all this pink is what's going to be removed. So if I really want this middle black part, all I do is I come up here, I grab the mark areas to keep pen and I kind of just, just need like a small line and it normally picks it up. So you notice how that changed. Let's say like I don't actually want this line here. All I do is I just leave it um, because it's not currently that black, it's a really dark, um, sorry, it's a really kind of shaded version. And then I just click this um, keep and then I do that. And then so you can kind of see, so if I move this over, we can see how now that's become transparent. So what we have to do then is we right click, okay? We come down and we want to basically save this as a new picture. So we click on save as, oh, here we go. And instead of a JPEG, because that's what puts our white backgrounds in, is we change it to a PNG. So that's quite important. So your Windows versions will have that as well. So we'll choose PNG. I'm going to just leave it as picture one and click save. Now the difference in my OneNote now, so if I leave that there for a second, is that when I drag image, I call it image, there no, I call it picture one. When I drag this in, you can see side by side differences between them um let's just drag that out a bit so and that they so i don't have that white background anymore so i can delete this one because that's no good to me anymore um i'm just going to move this around and there's my jam jar that we're going to put the money into so classic technique let's right click and set that to the background perfect now I want them to drag money in. So I'm going to use here in Australia, 50 cent pieces to do so. So this time I'm going to show you if you're on a, um, on a Mac, how you can do that. Now, obviously you can use PowerPoint as well, but Mac has a feature in pages. So if I open pages and I have a blank document, I can grab my image just like before. So I grab my 50 cent coin here, drag it in. There it is there. But just like, or just to prove it, it has a white space around it. So if I grab it and drop it in here, we'll see that's way 
too big and I, and uh, we can resize it and everything but I don't want all this white that's around it that's really annoying so yes we could do what we just did in PowerPoint but let's try in pages so in pages what we do is we come over um, to the right hand side here and under image we have this instant alpha option so if we click on that what we can do is around this outside is I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to drag and this blue space this is similar to like our pink space in PowerPoint before that is saying well let's remove that okay so that's then removed I click done a little bit tricky because again this is hard to see um, but that's okay and now with this one's a little bit different I can actually just go copy I can come back into here and go paste and you can see how that border, that white border has disappeared. I can resize my 50 cent pieces and then um, who knows, like, you know, I can then copy and paste them. And quite often it's going to be much better for you to click over the page everywhere so that they sit independent of each other and that they will stand like so. So I can, you know, I can pile them all up like so. Let's bring them all down together grab a few of them, bring them a bit closer. And so there's my pile of coins and I might, you know, come in here and write my question, you know, um, place uh, $1.50 into the jar. And so then my students can, with their touch screen, I don't have a touch screen, so I'm going to just use my mouse, but they can click on that and then they can drag it and then, you know, Put it in like that if we want to but we could just drag over the top and then i can put my dollar 50 in there and then we could drag all those coins back out again and start all over again the only thing you're not going to be able to stop is if a student accidentally clicks it and then taps the corner and drags which will just drag the coin out okay if it happens if you're on your device just you know control z undo it and then just do it again the iPads are quite nice. They give you the little crosshair in the middle um, of the image. So that makes it really clear for the students of how to drop and drag. So lots of examples there. I'll show you this one here that we I've done before. So this is about reflections. So again, students, you know, they can click, drag the image over and then place it in so that they're showing that reflection. So there's so many different opportunities you could probably do with this. Um, I'm sure your imaginations could run wild about what you could do with dropping and tracking. Um, but I hope you have fun with it. I hope this video was super helpful and we will see you again soon. Cheers. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date, don't forget to follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.